The purpose of this screencast will be to talk to you about how to take uh, attendance in your Skyward gradebook. So again, this is for teachers who are teaching K through 2. Okay, not so if you're teaching grades grades 3 through 12, this is not for you. Go to another screencast. <laughs> okay, K through 2 teachers, stay with me. We're going to talk about attendance and all things attendance in this particular screencast. So you need to log in to your uh, Skyward Gradebook using that unique Skyward Gradebook link and log in an ID that you were given. So I'm already logged in, so here's my home screen. Welcome to my home screen. Actually, it's not my home screen. As you can see up here, I'm stealing Deanna's uh, home screen because I do not teach K through 2, nor do I have any classes. So, uh, excuse me for the fraud that I'm about to commit. So, anywho, let's talk about attendance. So, you come over here to Teacher Access, and you're going to click on well, the easiest way to do this is to click on Post Daily Attendance. So, that's going to bring up a list of classes. Now, you have two choices on how to take attendance you can do it by name, or you can do it by seating chart. I'm going to show you how to do both. So we're going to click on by name. And if you look, a list of names pops up. And what you need to do is click on whether they are absent, tardy, or present. Now, I, right now I can't do that because it knows, because Skyward's kind of smart, that uh, this class doesn't meet today. So when they do meet, you can actually click on these, what they're, they're called radio buttons. You can click on the radio buttons and actually take attendance. Um, if there's alerts, you'll see a little... Um, colored rectangles and if you want to see what kind of alert they are if you click on alert legend you'll see that there are different colors that correspond to different types of alerts so that's really it's quick and simple you know how do I take attendance post daily attendance by name bam there it is but if you don't want to do it by name you want to be a rebel and you want to do it by seating chart well first of all to make a seating chart you click on assign seats but there is a default seating chart is alphabetical order so let's try that by seating chart so you're going to see the seating chart this is your default one now again it knows attendance cannot be entered this class does not meet today but if it was sometime in late August you would see something below all the names where you could take attendance by seating chart so really it's your preference you can take it by name you can take it by seating chart now I showed you how to do that by clicking on post daily attendance. There's another way that you can take attendance. You can go through your gradebook. So click on my gradebook and you click on the standards gradebook and if you see across the top after it's done loading, if you hover over attendance you can take daily attendance by name by seating chart here. You can also create seating charts at this point in time. So there's two ways to take attendance. Quickly through post daily attendance or you can access the attendance screens through my gradebook. So that's how to take attendance in your standards based gradebook. Come back and we'll talk more about assignments in our next screencast.